Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Add Stamp Tool in the Comment Toolbar is used to place a stamp into a PDF page. Acrobat comes with several preset stamps that are commonly used in business, like stamps for approving a document or indicating where a user needs to add a signature to a document. You can also create your own custom stamps if needed. To add a preset stamp to the current PDF page, select the Comment Tool from the Tool Center or Tools panel. The Comment Toolbar then appears. Click the Add Stamp drop-down button in the Comment Toolbar. The drop-down menu that appears contains three categories of stamps, Dynamic Stamps, Stamps for Signing Documents, and Standard Business Stamps. When you roll your mouse pointer over one of these three categories, the available stamps then appear. Notice that the Dynamic Stamps all include custom messages related to the current time, date, or Acrobat user. The Sign Here Stamps provide common messages related to signing and initialing documents. The Standard Business Stamps include a variety of messages commonly used in business settings. To add a stamp to a PDF, click to select a stamp from one of the Add Stamp drop-down categories. The mouse pointer changes to display a semi-transparent image of the stamp. Keep in mind that once placed, the stamp will appear somewhat opaque. In other words, text or images under the stamp may be difficult to see once the stamp is applied. Choose an appropriate spot on the PDF considering that fact, and then click to place the stamp. Note that the Identity Setup dialog box will appear and prompt you to enter your identity information if you haven't entered that information already after selecting a stamp from the Dynamic Stamp category. To add a stamp to the Favorite Stamps list that appears at the top of the drop-down menu when you click the Add Stamp tool, select the stamp to use in the drop-down menu. Then immediately click the Add Stamp Tool button again and select the Add Current Stamp to Favorites command in the drop-down menu. To create a custom stamp from an existing image file, click the Add Stamp tool, roll over the Custom Stamps command, and then choose the Create command from the side menu that appears. Doing this then opens the Select Image for Custom Stamp dialog box. Click the Browse button to find the image file to use for the custom stamp. You can use the File Format drop-down in the lower right corner of the dialog box to select the type of image files to view if needed. After finding the image file, click it to select it, and then click the Open button to return to the Select Image for Custom Stamp dialog box. Click the OK button in this dialog box to open the Create Custom Stamp dialog box. You can choose to add the stamp to one of Acrobat's existing stamp categories by selecting one from the Category drop-down, or you can also create a new category for your stamp by typing a new category name into this drop-down field. Type a name for the stamp into the Name field. Ensure that there is a check mark in the Down Sample Stamp to Reduce File Size checkbox to ensure the stamp is not too large. When finished, click the OK button to create the custom stamp. You can also create a temporary stamp from the contents of an image file that you have copied to your clipboard to create a one-time use type of stamp in a PDF. To do this, copy the image file you want to apply as a stamp using your image editing software. Then click the Add Stamp tool and select the Paste Clipboard Image as Stamp tool command. Then click into the document at the location at which you want to stamp the copied image file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.